Another theorem that can be proved using the intermediate value theorem is Brouwer's theorem. Suppose we have a function on the closed interval 0, 1 to 0, 1. And suppose f is continuous. Then basically Brouwer's theorem guarantees that there is a fixed point of this function. Oh, what does it say? Well, a fixed point is an x in 0, 1 with the property that fx equals x. This theorem is also referred to as Brouwer's fixed point theorem. So here's an illustration. What does it look like in a picture? Well, just draw any function, any graph of a continuous function on 0, 1. So here we create a box from 0, 1 to 0, 1. Yeah, so 0, 1 are the possible x values and 0, 1 are the possible y values. And draw any graph of a continuous function from 0, 1 to 0, 1. Well, the graph doesn't leave the box. Then what Brouwer's theorem says is that if we draw the line x is y, then the, this blue line should intersect with the yellow line. Well, this is quite an astonish, uh, astonishing result. It can be proved as follows. We define a help function the help function g of x equals x minus df of x. We do so for all x's in 0, 1, the closed interval 0, 1. Well, since we take a difference of two continuous functions, this, then we may conclude that g is also continuous. Right? Moreover, we have, if we consider values in 0 and 1, we have the following. If we look at the differences between x and fx in 0, the g of 0 equals 0 minus f of 0 equals minus the f of 0. And since f is always positive, we know that this is a value, gives, returns a value smaller than 0. If we look at g of 1, then this is 1 minus the f of 1, and I know that the f of 1 is smaller or equal than 1, so that g of 1 is at least 0. So what we get now is that the value in 0 is smaller or equal than 0 and smaller or equal than g of 1. So now choose A as the 0, B as the 1, and C as the value in between, which is the 0. Then the intermediate value theorem says that there is an x star in 0, 1, such that the value of G in x star, yeah, so there is an x star in 0, 1, with the property that the g of x star equals 0. Yeah, so here we apply the intermediate value theorem with c equals 0. So in that case, if the g of x star equals 0, then we know that x star minus fx star equals 0, because this is the way we define the g of x star. Or equivalently, f of x star equals x star. So we found, actually, a fixed point of the function f.